Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Combustion Guys and Hunting Calls Online. And today we have the beautiful Ford Bronco. Let's get started. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so here we go, we've got the different trim levels, and there is quite a few of them. So, here is the basic rundown of what we're doing today. So, what we're doing is, I'm going to be going through, showing you what the options are as I'm looking through here as well. But also, I'm looking for what I would want in my personal Bronco. What would be the best deal uh, for me? And so that is basically what we're going through. So, hopefully you find it fun, I do, and hopefully... uh you can see what Bronco might be your best. So, let's view, uh, we'll start with base. Here and see what we got. A cute little Bronco. Looks good. Let's see here. I'm not sure. Let me go back here. Can we get, oh yeah, yeah, here we go. Switch it to a forward door. There we go. There we go. Yeah, but two door is nice, but I'm definitely going to be wanting a four door if I buy a Bronco at this point. So, Let's take a look here. So we got the shadow black, we got Oxford white, we've got uh, a timid antimatter. There we go, antimatter blue. We've got iconic silver. We've got ourselves carbonized gray, rapid red, and beautiful velocity blue. So, where would I go with? I'd probably go with the uh, antimatter blue. Let's see. So we got the regular bright polished wheels. Probably switch over to ooh, hello. Ooh, get the Sasquatch package added added in. So a little bit more beefier off-road stuff. So let's see. Currently we have the soft cover. I would definitely want to upgrade to the hard. <coughs> then we have uh, from Bubba Ford Performance Heavy Duty module. Let's see what does that look like? Ooh, that does look good. Nice. Should we get a brush coat with that? Ooh, very nice. Okay, very good. Uh, you also have like keyless entry, paint protection, blah 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 blah. So don't really need that. Ooh, and I forgot about this feature. You can take the doors off while you're going through. So that's kind of cool to kind of see how all that works. Now in the interior, you only have uh, dark space, gray with black uh, cloth seats. So not preferable, but what we get. So ooh, hello, can we? Ooh, oh, that's kind of cool. Alrighty, so let's see here. We got uh, cargo area protector. Uh, ooh, that's Bronco branded, so we'll definitely get that. Get everything Bronco here. Floor liners, front and rear auxiliary switches to an overhead console with front map lights. Ooh, yeah, that'd be nice to have. Uh, floor liners, especially if you want to add like uh, an extra. Uh, light bar or something that definitely be good to already have in there. Uh, front floor liners. <clears throat> Alrighty. Head at that. So let's see. So we have the 2.3 liter versus the 2.7 liter. We're going with the 2.7 liter. Also, it's a V6. Ooh, that's nice. So I think this is just the four cylinder, if I remember correctly. So yeah, so upgrading to V6 with 400 pounds of torque, 330 horsepower, I mean, that's pretty good. Let's see, that's on premium fuel versus regular, so, ah, so okay, we'll definitely add that. V6s are always better than four cylinders. That is how it works, and V8s are always better than V6s. That's kind of how it breaks down, unfortunately. We get the 10-speed uh, select shift automatic transmission. Very nice. And, of course, we already have the Sasquatch package added in. Let's see here. We've got tents, electronics, <laughs> doors and roof, add-ons. <clears throat> I don't think I need any of that. Oh, Bronco, stainless steel, uh, Bronco labeling and stuff. Ooh, and then the Bronco windshield sunscreen. Yes, please. 
because you have like the little bronco like right in the middle on the sides and something that would be kind of cool uh, I think that is it in there yep so we'll go to wheels we'll go accessory kit of five hmm I think we're actually gonna be fine actually hmm? Yeah, not sure how that works, so we'll be, we'll find. And so let's see, so that's a bottom level Bronco with a four door. Spec'd out to how I'd want it, and you're starting at 45,504, and you're looking at about $392 um, a month, so. Not too bad, actually. I mean, some of the stuff's going for over four, five hundred, so I mean, that's not a too bad price for an off road capable SUV, so that's pretty good. Also, the wide fenders. Those are beautiful. Alright, so let's go back to the models here. So we then have the Big Bend. We have the Black Diamond. We also have Outer Banks and First Edition. So, so let's go with... Let's see. I think they give the details here. Uh -huh. I think we're going to end up going with the Black Diamond as our next option oh yeah, yeah yeah let's go back this one has or looks like different uh, headlights or different grill or something interesting looks different so we got the regular steel wheel that's on the black diamond we also have some different color options so all of the normal but we also have this beautiful cactus gray love this color that thing looks awesome we also have the rapid red race red and the uh, cyber orange we're gonna go let's see what was this oh area 51 which is kind of a cool bluish gray color definitely like that I'm gonna go with the cactus looks good alright so now we got all blacked out so we could go with sure we'll go with that for right now so that's what it looks like with like bead locks and stuff and then this is ooh, there we go so a little bit less capable, but might as well go with capable for off-road duty here. Let's see, mud terrain versus all terrain. Go with the all terrain for that. Mud terrain right now. Let's see here. So we got the get the top hard top sound didn't hit liner roof rails with crossbars. Uh, we're gonna skip that. We got the front bumper, we got the full vehicle steel batch plate, very good. Uh, paint protection, got the brush guard. Oh, hello. Okay, so you can, so you have to go back to the steel wheel, or can we get this wheel here? Okay, so you can't get the bead locks if you're gonna have the brush guard, okay. So we can go with uh, these guys right here. Alrighty. Very good. Um, it's pretty good. I like it a little bit better than the steel wheel. just looks nicer. So, obviously steel wheel, usually a little bit better. But, kind of liking how those look versus that. So, we'll go with that for right now. Anyways, uh, we got with the regular wheel lock, engine block, remote, etc. So, don't need any of that. Um dual zone electronic automatic temperature control okay so that's your regular so we'll add that on let's see here also get the cargo area protector might as well have that floor liners go ahead and have that oh we got uh, 110 400 watt power out the back side of the center floor console very nice all of this stuff is included so I don't really need to upgrade from that I uh, really don't need Sirius XM or the connected navigation definitely need the 2.7 liter Ica boost thank you very much and uh, let's see here so when is the 4.46 Ooh, there we go. Roof with rear locking versus the 4.7. I'm 
not sure which one is better than these. So I'd have to ask my brother on that. That's Todd, but uh, we're going to leave it as it is for right now. And see how we go. So we got mid package, we got uh, Sasquatch package there, we got uh, the towing capable package. Go ahead and get that. Um, we need, ooh, there we go. Got the tent options there. Wow, those are pretty nice. Very good. Like those. Electronics, uh, LED security light. I have no idea what that is. Uh, doors, roof. Don't need any of that as far as I know. Uh, hood protector. Check my old, check my old. Wow. I mean, this uh, option wise with the racks, I mean, you're getting into Subaru level options that are good. Not. Subaru has tons of options. Hitches and towing. Ooh, get the hitch plug with the Bronco logo. Absolutely. Trailer brake controller, forward performance off road track, air compressor kit, ba da da do. A lot of options, like it. I get my door sills there. Oh, here, there we go. Well, yeah, stainless will be fine. Uh, windshield sunscreen, get that. Pet barrier, pet harness, small bags by somebody. And seat covers, nothing specific there. So, alrighty. So there we go. So that is the. I forgot which trim I was working on here. Let's see here. We're working on black diamond, and so we're now at forty nine thousand five hundred sixty three and four eighty nine a month for forty eight months. So that's how that's going. But this little guy looks pretty good. I like him. Looks really nice. Now, would these, I forgot what the seats were, but these leather seats. Dog space. Vinyl seats, okay. So that's an upgrade versus the uh, cloth, so that's nice. Alright, so let's go back and we're going to. Let's see. So we have the Wild Track, that's obviously the ultimate high speed off roading. We're going to go with uh, Badlands here. Uh huh. There we go. Back to the vinyl seats. Very good. Alrighty, guys. Now we go. So we got that where we want it. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, we got some different options on wheels here. Ooh, so that's 17 inch versus that. Ooh, but one comes with smaller tires. Wow, that's good. I like that. Okay. So we got hot top. Go through this all again. Uh, skip the no, no, no. Take that back off. I don't need the crossbars. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, now. Uh, paint protection. Not sure where I put that on. Brush guard. That's what I was working for. Uh, we already got the headlamps. There we go. And now we have a marine grade vinyl seats. So that's nice if you take the roof off and it rains. Then this is leather trimmed vinyl seats. That's what I'm talking about there. Okay, cool. Now we got. Now we're going where we need to be. So that's an extra two thousand one hundred ninety-five bucks. So cargo area, floor liners, uh, storage bag. You get here a possible heat steering wheel, adaptive cruise control, uh, wireless charging pad, three hundred and sixty degree camera. Blah blah blah. Don't need any of that stuff. Um, we'll go with the two point seven liter EcoBoost. This thing's beautiful. Love that. And uh, we got that set up, so we'll leave that as it is now. Obviously, we want towing package added in there. Have that ready to go. And so now we have the correct total: fifty-seven thousand eight hundred fifty-five and six oh four. Wow. Is it just me? Or is that? Uh, so let's see. That is five thousand more than a big bend. Um, specked out, but you're getting leather seats or um, vinyl leather trimmed seats, and that's basically the same things that I wanted on everything else except for my brush guard. Oh, I guess that took it off. With why does the engine change my brush guard? Anyways, that's dumb. But anyways, that looks really good. So. 
I'm thinking that is the best bang for the buck. So let me see. Let me go back up here. So this is our Badlands with the Area 51. That's the ooh, cactus looks really good. Sub orange looks even better. And velocity blue looks great. Alrighty. Now for the sake of this, I'm gonna go ahead and do the wild track. So I'm thinking go ahead and give you me you you my basic verdict here. <clears throat> Basically, I'd probably go with uh, either Black Diamond or Badlands just because you get the vinyl seats versus the cloth. Um, so I'm not a big fan of cloth. I mean cloth is good if you if it's a beater vehicle, you're not really being that kind to it. But definitely for being off road but also around the town capable, gonna want the vinyl, easy to slip in and out of. So anyways. Now let's build the wire track. Now this is gonna be the sports car version of the Bronco here. And we're only gonna do the two door coupe. SUV. I'm not sure if you can call an SUV a two-door coupe, but hey, I just did. So there we go. So uh, we will go with we'll go with an iconic. Ooh, yeah, iconic silver. All kinds of like uh, different things you can do with uh, silver aftermarket. <laughs> uh, let's see, we got our front bumper performance at that. Add the full vehicle bash plate at that. The step. Brush guard. Full vehicle station. Okay, well, I guess we'll have to get the brush guard aftermarket, I guess, at that point. Um, looks like it's it there. We got cloth seats versus leather trimmed vinyl seats. Thank you very much. I'll definitely take that. Uh, we have the cargo protector. Remove. Why didn't they want to take away my bash plates? Come on, people. Come on, people. That's dumb. Why does cargo area protector have to take away my steel bash plates? That dumb. Okie dokie. And moving on. Of course, I have the 2.7 liter EcoBoost as standard. Hallelujah. We also have a luxe package, high package. Don't need any of that stuff. Okay, cool. Ooh, and also cool. Get the wild track body graphic. Get the towing package added in there. And now let's roll back up, see if that has Oh yeah. A little bit of graphic on the side there makes it look real nice. Alright, let's scoot on down here and that will cost you fifty four thousand two oh five. Not bad. So take the doors off there, take off the roof. Put the roof back on. Put the doors back on. That looks better. Okay. That looks good. So let's uh check out the colors here, might as well. See how it looks in the different colors. Got red of course. Looks good. Got the orange. Got that blue. One of my favorites, cactus. Ooh, cactus looks nice. Alrighty. So, wild wow, check. Definitely looks good. But, yeah, when it comes down to the actual models, uh, probably for a good starter price, probably going to end up going with Black Diamond just as. Uh, and a good toe in into the Bronco market. So I think Black Diamond would be my best deal anyways. Uh, Badlands isn't too bad. Out of Banks, it's kind of stuck in between there. You don't really know what's going on. And uh, Wild Track, definitely a cool looking vehicle. But yeah, probably Black Diamond would end up being uh, my own uh, vehicle to probably try and go with first. So anyways, guys, hopefully that was interesting. Hopefully that was fun. Thanks, guys, for watching. And we'll see you here next time. Bye.